Hi, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as the MoviePix.com Guide to DVD Architect. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. Today we're going to work with a picture-in-picture -picture effect, but a particular kind of picture-in-picture -picture effect. We call it the Brady Bunch effect there at MoviePix.com. It is essentially a grid in which we're going to assemble these nine photos or these nine videos in sort of a grid like the opening credits of the Brady Bunch. Now you can apply this of course in a number of situations but I want to show you the basics of it and once you understand the basics the rest should become pretty obvious here. Now in order to place them into a grid it's always best to work with a pattern. Nicely enough the program comes with a pattern for you. If you go to the top of your preview panel and click on this little grid, it will lay a grid down onto your screen. And this is precisely for doing these kind of layouts. You can customize it by clicking right on the grid pattern itself. I'm sorry, right clicking right on the grid pattern itself and selecting video preview preferences. And here you see over on the right center of the screen, the option to lay out your grid. Well, we're going to go three by three to create that Brady Bunch effect. And there is our Brady Brunch grid. Now we have something to work with. Let's go ahead and start laying out our videos. Let's start with Dad. Drag him down here to video track one. And then I could do this using the right there, the pan crop effect. I often find in this particular case, it's easier to work with the track effect. So I'm going over here to the track motion effect. The effect is essentially the same. And now I'm going to grab the corner of my frame and drag it in to shrink my dad down so that he fits inside one of those boxes. And in fact, I want him to fit not just within the box, but I'd like to have a little bit of a margin around him. And I could do this just by fiddling with it, but I find I get real precise measurements if I start to come up with some numerical values. And I found in this particular case, if I go with 610, that he fits nicely inside the grid. So I, I manually changed width to 610. It kind of averaged it out a little to 6.996, that's 610. And then it automatically provides the height value for me because these are constrained. And then I want to move my dad up here to the upper center block. And I can do that just by dragging on the little box in my track motion window, dragging upward until dad moves into that location. And once again, if I remember numbers, I can do things much more precisely. So his X value, I'm going to keep at zero. And his Y value, I'm gonna come up with a nice round number, 365. So if I remember 610 for the width and 365 for the Y value, it's gonna make it easier for me to lay out the rest of these. Let's bring in mom. We'll drag her to the video track right above dad. And once again, I'm going to my track motion controls and drag in on the corners or I can simply type in for my width here 610. See how much easier it is when you work with numbers? We'll drag her down into position in the lower grid center and since we know our x value is going to be 0, our y value is going to be negative 365. So once again we're working with the same number, it's just a negative and mom lays nicely into that position. Now these are the default number of tracks you get for Vegas Movie Studio, but if we drag another object in there, say for instance this house, and I drag it in above the existing tracks right there, the program is going to automatically create a new track for me. The house will go once again, go to track motion, set its X value, I'm sorry, its width value to 610. And I don't have to change X or Y value because I want to keep it right in the center of my frame. And we'll continue to do this. I'm going to take Steve, drag him again right above the existing track. That creates a new track for him. Go to track motion, set his width to 610 pixels. And we want to move him up in the upper left corner. And we remember 365. We'll set the Y value of first coordinates. And for his X value, let's use negative 635. These are just numbers I found work nicely. So if you remember these numbers, 610 for width, 365 for Y value, and 635 for X, it's just going to be variations on those two numbers to get everything else into position. Okay, so there's Steve up there in the upper right corner. Just as an example here, I'm just going to drag Rita, drag her in right above me. I'm sorry, this is my family I'm working with. I assumed you knew Steve was me. We'll go to track motion again. 
we'll set its width value to 610. And once again, when we put Rita down there in that lower right corner, we're going to see that we're just doing variations of these numbers, right? 635 for the X value and negative 365 for the Y value. And that puts her nicely in position. And we continue to do this. Now, once you've done this, uh, your end product is going to look kind of like this. And there you can see, I'll turn off the grid. You can see very nicely we've created our Brady Bunch effect. We've got nine tracks of video going there. And it's essentially a picture-in-picture -picture effect, but using the grid, we've got them all moving in their own separate little quadrants or their own separate little uh, squares inside that grid. And that's how simply it's done. Now, if you want to know more about these kind of tricks, you want to make sure to check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about the program and how this works and how video tracks work and how uh, track motion and the pan crop tool works, you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And why not pick up a copy of the moviepix.com guide to DVD Architect also. They're available at moviepix.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.